The coach, Frank Wright, is now out with COVID, and he issued a statement today saying, quote, he's excited for camp but disappointed that he's not going to be with the team as they start. However, today, our Dave Calabro tells us that he still has plans to participate with the team, albeit virtually. Hi, everybody. Colts training camp begins on Wednesday. We have some big news. Frank Reich will not be here. He's tested positive for COVID, despite the fact he had the vaccination. He tested positive late last week, so he's coaching by Zoom. And the general manager, Chris Ballard, made the announcement earlier today. We're going to be careful. We're going to be safe. Um, and, you know, when he's back, he's back. But the good news is he doesn't have any symptoms. He's feeling good. Um, and, you know, when you, hear, when you hear some of the stories about people who are not vaccinated, and who are getting sick, the difference is, is dramatic, you know, between the two. So we keep moving forward. So when practice begins on Wednesday, Frank Wright will not be here. The assistant coaches will handle those duties. Frank could be back as early as next week. They'll just see how this thing plays out. Meanwhile, over 60% of the players have been vaccinated. Lots of conversations about whether or not to get that shot. Getting vaccine, we think it's the right thing to do, but we're not going to force people, you know, internally to do it. And, you know, guys that are not vaccinated, they have to be, they understand, um, and they have their reasons for it, and they're going to work through it. And I don't want to, you know, just because of protocols, get vaccinated. You want them to do it because it's the right thing in their own hearts. It's the right thing to do. And if they don't, well, then we got to protect the team. We got to keep them safe. So the players on the field on Wednesday for the first of 19 practices. By the way, the players will not be interacting with fans. Signing autographs not happening this year as we try to keep everybody safe as we prepare for football. At Colts Camp, kicking it off, I'm Dave Calabro. So Coach Reich's positive test is technically one of these breakthrough cases. Yeah, that's what we're calling these cases where someone is fully vaccinated and then tests positive for COVID-19. And they're not alone. Indiana reports just over 2,700 breakthrough cases so far.